ladies and gentlemen. Many of you might remember back in the day when Jesse Jackson ran for president. Well, Joe Biden was also running for president back then too. You know, he just doesn't learn a lesson on the fact that he's never going to be president. So they went before the NAACP and Joe Biden seized the opportunity to go before a black audience and be his usual Dixie Krat self and tried to pull the old divide and conquer. Now, let me just say right up front, I am not a Jesse Jackson fan, but I tell you one thing, if Joe Biden shows up on the scene to pull the divide and conquer, I would unite with my people. I would not fall for his crap. Unfortunately, divide and conquer still works very, very well, <laughs> as we can see online and offline when it comes down to certain people. It's not everybody, but it's certain people with a very weak mindset that still fall for these things. And there's really nothing you can do about that, ladies and gentlemen, except for just push these folks away. And when they have something else to say, we don't listen to them. You know, anytime you fall for this kind of stuff, I can't even respect you at that point in time. So Biden urged Black voters to reject Jesse Jackson during first presidential run report. Now, I want you to listen to the words that Joe Biden spoke. Former Vice President Joe Biden once told Black voters to reject Reverend Jesse Jackson during the first presidential run. Um, and both men attended the 1986 NAACP convention in Baltimore in hopes to garner support ahead of the 1988 elections. Biden made a bold attempt to alienate Jackson from the predominantly Black audience. Now, I want you to listen to what Joe Biden got up and said, spoken like a true racist. We must reject the voices in my party who say, you've heard it time and time again. Much progress has been made. And now, now, we must wait for the Reagan revolution to run its course, Biden said. But just as I and many other white leaders reject the voices of those who are calling for caution, you must reject the voices in this movement who tell Black Americans to go it alone. Let me go on. Who tell you that coalitions don't work anymore, that whites and Catholics and Jews no longer care about the problems of Black America. When did they ever care about our problems? We can see how much they care through policing in America because each one of these groups be cheering on the cops when they kill us unarmed, arrest us for no reason. These folks cheer it on. And if they were really concerned about Black America, then give us our reparations. Show your concern that way. That only Black should represent Black. Well, Joe Biden, I happen to agree with that. Black should represent Black. Okay, uh, don't white represent white? Of course you do. In 1987, Biden also rejected Jackson as a potential pick for vice president. This is what he said. If you're asking whether I choose a black man or woman for running me, the answer is yes, I would. He's lying. He's lying. Biden said in an interview, if you're asking whether I choose Jesse Jackson, the answer is no. I would not choose one to be my running mate who did not have experience in government, who hadn't held elected uh, public office. So what? 
your current president, Trump, he, he's never held any government office or had experience, but he still won. Okay, obviously that reason didn't stop the Americans from going out and pulling the lever for Trump. He doesn't have any experience in politics or off holding office or any of those things either. Jesse Jackson is going to make a significant contribution to this race, but we would he would not be my choice for vice president. Oh, that's all right, um, Joe Biden, because you're not our choice for president. See how that works? Reverend Jackson weighed in on Biden's 2020 candidacy to BuzzFeed. Joe has two things going for him. The poll says he can beat Trump and that he's worked with Barack. And he says that he wants to restore us to that day, Jackson said. Uh, no, Joe Biden don't have any good intentions for black people in this country, nor does he have that in his political career. Well, the challenge is that the people are looking forward to a new day and aren't necessarily looking to the old days. When asked if he remembers Biden's NAACP remarks 30 years later, Jackson softly replied, yes, I do. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Biden is one of those people that want to scare black people into voting for him. You know, he and many of the presidential candidates, Bernie Sanders, Kamala Harris, oh, Trump is a racist. Let me just tell you something. The Democrats and the Republican Party have both been racist towards the black community. So that kind of talk does absolutely nothing. You're not moving us or scaring us or anything else with that kind of talk. But you can clearly see that Joe Biden plays the game of divide and conquer. And I really believe his remarks were very racist during the NAACP convention. But you can tell me what you think. To me, Joe Biden doesn't have any chance of being president. I don't understand why you would wanna swap out one racist for another. Just keep the races you know in place. That's the way I see it. But please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace family.